What is a product ID? What is a seller SKU? These things are very important whenever you're adding a new product into Amazon or even becoming a reseller on Amazon. Let's find out. Whenever you're adding a product into the Amazon product catalog inside of your Amazon Seller Central, then you need a product ID and a seller SKU, which is very confusing for a lot of sellers. So let me show you. Let's start off by listing a product. So uh, I'm gonna simply add a product. Right here, I'm gonna be adding a new product on Amazon. So here I'm gonna click, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. As you can see here, it's asking me, it's prompting me for the item name as well as the product type, which would be the category. Let's write kitchen organizer and let's select a product category. You can either browse the category manually or you can simply search for it. Once I searched for kitchen organizer, which is the type of product that I intend to sell, as you can see here, there's a lot of categories, main categories and subcategories. I'm just gonna simply choose any one. I'll just choose this one, spice racks. Now, this is where it becomes interesting. As you can see here, I just put the product name. Most of the details you can change, but whenever you add a product ID or a seller SKU, those things can never be changed. So you need to make sure that you have the right information. Right here, Amazon is asking me for the brand name. Just for this, I'm just gonna click, the product doesn't have a brand name, so it shows up as generic. After that, it's gonna ask me for my product ID. So the product ID is not something that you can create, it's something that you need to purchase. And the product ID can be anything from an EAN, or what we normally use in the UAE is UPC, Universal Product Codes. There are other information as well, but the mostly used ones would be UPC as well as EAN. Now, if you do not have a barcode, if you do not have a UPC, if you haven't purchased one, or you just wanna get started, all you need to do is to just simply click, I don't have a product ID. And then as you can see, the red boxes have been removed, but as you can see here from the lock, this field cannot be changed once it is submitted, so you can't change your mind, okay? After that, let's click on next. Now, before we continue, if you are finding value in all of our videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video by leaving a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below. What other information are you looking for on your Amazon journey? Now, if you want to work with the Amazon Sellers Society team, we are a certified Amazon service provider and we can support you on Amazon UAE, KSA, as well as Egypt. Make sure you reach out to us on our official website, www.assmiddleeast.org. You'll find a lot of information linked in the description box of this video. As you can see here, UPC exemption has been approved and I acknowledge. Now I need to add further information. I need to add the product description as well as images. Now I want you to remember all of these details can be changed. So if we're just adding things just because we wanna create a listing, then that would be absolutely fine. Let's move on to the product details. Here is where you need to add your manufacturer's name. I would highly suggest if you're doing private label in China, for example, don't add the actual name of your manufacturer. You don't wanna disclose this information the best thing to do would be to simply add your brand name as the manufacturer uh, all of the details right here in the offer page um, if you are selling um, this information if you have this information if you're selling FBM in the beginning you can add it or you could just click on let me skip the offer data and add it later now as you can see here because I have it under the required attributes there's no mention of the seller SKU. However, that is actually very much important that you added. So let's click on recommended. And as you can see here, once I click on the recommended, it's showing up under the offer seller SKU. And again, it has the lock next to it, which is very similar to the UPC barcode or the barcode in general, whatever barcode you decide to use, in that it cannot be changed. So what is the seller SKU? That would be your internal barcode. Just like Amazon has its own internal barcoding system, better known as the FN, Fulfillment Network SKU, you also as a seller might potentially have your own SKUs. Now, maybe in the beginning when you're starting out and you just have a few products, maybe you don't have SKUs. But later on, when you have a big product catalog, obviously there needs to be a way where you can easily identify the product without calling it men's wallet. 
because if you're selling a men's wallet you might be selling different types of men's wallet so it becomes a little bit confusing the easiest way would be to create uh, a code to remember what this product is now the seller skew is alphanumeric so you can use uh, actual words and letters and you can use numbers so create something that is easy for you to remember and easy for you to understand but also remember that once submitted it cannot be changed so here I'm gonna add a brand name I'm gonna actually add my name and I'm just gonna add a code to it 101 yeah later on if I decide to uh, have a variation or even maybe a different type of product that is very similar I just call it crystal 102 you could do that or anything else you can also uh, because we switch to the recommended attributes here I can just immediately say that I want to sell it as FBA and then all you need to do is fill out all of the information and then click on submit so now you know what a product ID is and what a seller's queue is and now you know how to add them into your Amazon product listing let me know if you have any more questions leave them in the comment section below and as always I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.